Hi, I'm Nick Nanton and welcome to America's Premier Experts, where we bring some of the top experts from all around the world to you to give you the best advice possible. And I've got just one of those experts here today, Mr. Alonzo Kelly. Alonzo, how are you, man? I'm living the dream. Thank you. I know you, you are, man. It's great to have you. So, hey, <laughs> I know a lot about what you do, but our viewers obviously don't. So why don't you tell our viewers just a little bit about it? Well, I'm biased in my opinion, but I believe I run the most dynamic professional development and executive coaching firm in the country. So what does that mean? I mean, a lot of people have heard those words before, but just don't know what they mean. Well, for me, it's simple. I believe everybody uh, who talks about leadership and wants to achieve that particular level in their professional career thinks they can do it by themselves. And, and the truth is we all need a coach or a partner uh, to guide us along the way. And so I come in and sit with people, ad advise in certain ways, and guide uh, their journey in a way that's fun, relaxing, but also achieves measurable results. That's great. I mean, I know all the top athletes in the world and most of the top CEOs utilize coaches and trainers to help them get to optimal performance. It's just not something that you can really do on your own. No, it's not. And in fact, the difference between the people who have a coach and the people who do not is really simple. It's the start that stops most people. And I believe that we all believe uh, that we can do it, again, by ourselves. And, and sometimes we just have to humble ourselves and, and say that we're going to need some help along the way. So those top coaches, those top uh, executives, uh, the top leaders in our organizations all have a partner uh, helping them along the way. Awesome. So how'd you get into this, Lonzo? Well, I have taken my years of executive leadership in the financial industry, the healthcare industry, and nonprofit. And I noticed, uh, in terms of my passion, when, whenever we brought someone into the organization for coaching and training, it was always the, the top leadership that got to go. And then the frontline staff just had, got left behind. And, and I remember saying, if I'm ever in a position to offer the frontline client the same quality leadership training and coaching as the executive level, I believe that would just change the results of organizations entirely. Wow, that's awesome. And I know, I mean, you've got like alphabet soup behind your name, man. Have you got three <laughs> master's degrees? Tell me a little bit about kind of your education background. Man. Well, you know, it, it stems from high school. I remember my guidance counselor telling me, uh, Alonzo, if you're serious about being a CEO, you're going to have to demonstrate that you know money, people, systems, and you can make decisions based on data. And I'm a little bit passionate about education, so I figured, why not a master's degree to, lear to learn about people? Why not a master's degree to learn about numbers? Uh, and why not a master's degree to help me uh, sort data into actionable items? So how many times have you graduated? <laughs> Six going on seven. Wow, that's awesome. And you're done now this time, right? Uh, that's what I'm saying right now. That's what you're yeah. saying. That's right. I, I, I have a funny feeling you're a lifelong yeah. student, which is awesome. We all should be that way yeah. now. Uh, you do things pretty uniquely uh, in the way you do them. So can we, you talk a little bit about your process that you use? Absolutely. So uh, the difference between the way that I do executive coaching and others, I believe, is it, it's holistic. So it's not a matter of you and I coming in and sitting down and tell me your problem and I give you my advice because my way is the best way, right? You know, I'm a big fan of reminding people that there are 293 ways to make change for a dollar. So let's take the resources you have and figure out how to make change with that. You know, what, what uh, can we work on with your communication? What can we work on with your presentation? Uh, my practice involves me not only sitting down with you face to face, but taking advantage of teleconferences and, and other type of media, um, observation, role play. Really want to take you from point A to point B without you having to dedicate resources that you might not have access to. That's great. So let's say someone's watching this and they say, well, I love what Alonzo's saying, but I'm not sure if he can work with my organization or not. Um, why don't you talk a little bit about the kinds of organizations you work with and then how it, what it looks like if someone works with you? Absolutely. So uh, from the larger perspective, I work with a number of Fortune 500 companies, and I typically go in uh, and meet with a team. And that has to do with uh, things like transitioning uh, from a task leader to a team leader or a leader of a team to a leader of leaders, which is two entirely different things. Um, really pride myself on getting out of the theory of leadership and into the action of it. So whether it's, uh, it's the corporation or the individual um, or people who are exploring their leadership outside of the organization, uh, that's pretty much where I spend my time. Got it, I know you've helped a lot of organizations and an awful lot of people. Do you have maybe a favorite story you wanna share with us? I do, and it's actually my own. <laughs> and, and I'll tell you why it's my own, because uh, for those that would not know me personally, to know where I've been and where I am now is just incredible and part of that making the impossible possible. So uh, growing up with a lack of resources to the position where I have options and being humble and transparent about 
the decisions I made right, <laughs> and, and to quote Robert Frost, that road less traveled, and what was around that corner that we never hear about in that poem. <laughs> uh, and so sharing those with people in terms of my own experience, which is where I believe you get the most authentic, authentic coaching. I love it. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of people watching this who are saying, that guy's really smart, and I think he could probably help myself, you know, coach me personally, uh, my small business, my large business, my Fortune 500. How'd they find you, Alonzo? Well, I'd love for people to visit me at my website. Um, I also am really proud of a dynamic radio show that I host now. Uh, and again, you can find that information on the website, but certainly my contact information, you can call, you can write. Uh, I'd rather you not send a smoke signal because I can't read that yet, uh, but reaching out to me directly works. Perfect, but carrier <laughs> pigeons are fine, right? <laughs> That'll work too. <laughs> no problem, great. Well, we'll put it all up on the screen and uh, I appreciate you sharing your knowledge with us and thanks for coming. All right, thank you.